Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We gather as one family around the table of the Lord on this memorial of St. Andrew Dunglock and his companion martyrs, Vietnamese martyrs. We ask for their intercession that like them, we may truly be brave enough to face the Lord in times of judgment, not because of fear, but out of love. And so let us acknowledge your sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, source and origin of all fatherhood, who kept the martyrs St. Andrew Dunlach and his companions faithful to the cross of your Son, even to the shedding of their blood. Grant through their intercession that spreading your love among our brothers and sisters, we may be your children both in name and in truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw another angel coming down from heaven, having great authority, and the earth became illumined by his splendor. He cried out in a mighty voice, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great, 
She has become a haunt for demons. She is a cage for every unclean spirit, a cage for every unclean bird, a cage for every unclean and disgusting beast. A mighty angel picked up a stone like a huge millstone and threw it into the sea and said, With such force will Babylon, the great city, be thrown down and will never be found again. No melodies of harpists and musicians, flutists and trumpeters will ever be heard in you again. No craftsmen in any trade will ever be found in you again. No sound of the millstone will ever be heard in you again. No light from the lamp will ever be seen in you again. No voices of bride and groom will ever be heard in you again. Because your merchants were the great ones of the world, all nations were led astray by your magic potion. After this, I heard what sounded like the loud voice of a great multitude in heaven saying, Alleluia! Salvation, glory, and might belong to our God, for true and just are his judgments. He has condemned the great harlot who corrupted the earth with her harlotry. He has avenged on her the blood of his servants. They said a second time, Alleluia! Smoke will rise from her forever and ever. Then, the angel said to me, Write this, Blessed are those who have been called to the wedding feasts of the Lamb. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who are called to the wedding feasts of the Lamb. Blessed are they who are called to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. Blessed are they who are called to the wedding feast of the Lord of the Lamb. Know that the Lord is God. He made us, his we are. His people, the flocked he tends. Blessed are they who are called to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. Blessed are they who are called to the wedding feast of the Lamb. For he is good, the Lord whose kindness endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. Blessed are they who are called to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Please all stand. Stand erect and raise your heads, because your redemption is at hand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, know that its desolation is at hand. Then those in Judea must flee to the mountains. Let those within the city escape from it and let those in the countryside not enter the city. 
For these days are the time of punishment, when all the scriptures are fulfilled. Woe to pregnant women and nursing mothers in those days, for a terrible calamity will come upon the earth, and a wrathful judgment upon this people. They will fall by the edge of the sword, and be taken as captives to all the Gentiles. And Jerusalem will be trampled underfoot by the Gentiles, until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. There will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and on earth nations will be in dismay, perplexed by the roaring of the sea and the waves. People will die of fright in anticipation of what, of what is coming upon the world, for the powers of the heavens will be shaken, and then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. But when these signs begin to happen, stand erect and raise your heads, because your redemption is at hand. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. In one of his homilies, Pope Francis said that there is no need for us to fear death if we are faithful to God. There is no need for us to fear death if we are faithful to God. However, we all know that in one way or another, we have been unfaithful to God. And somehow, this also causes our fear of death, particularly our fear of judgment. We are afraid that once the just judge would make his verdict, it will not be favorable because we know for a fact that we have had our share of infidelity. Doon nagmumula yung takot natin sa kamatayan. Dahil alam natin, pagdating ng panahon, pag tayo pumanaw sa mundong ito, haharap tayo sa dakilang husgado, sa dakilang hukom. At alam natin, yung hukom na yon tapat, patas. At kapag tinitingnan natin yung ating sarili, baka hindi tayo umabot dun sa pamantayan ng hukom na iyon. And if you will go back to our gospel, somehow the visions and prophecies laid down by Jesus are very alarming. It would seem impossible not to be afraid with those, with those kinds of warnings. Wars, famine, death, darkness. But at the end of our gospel, Jesus gives us a ray of hope. When these signs begin to happen, stand erect and raise your heads because your redemption is at hand. And this glimpse of hope also gives us one reality, that Jesus never forgets us. After all those signs, after all those warnings, after all those destructions, we can always be consoled with the fact that Jesus never forgets us because His ultimate desire for us is to be saved, for us to be redeemed. Minsan nakakatakot kapag iisipin natin na haharap tayo dun sa dakilang hukom. Pero ang ninanais naman ng Panginoon para sa atin ay hindi tayo husgahan dahil sa mga maling nagawa natin, kundi sana pagdating ng panahon ay magkasama-sama tayong muli. Ang nais lang ng Diyos para sa atin, mapalapit tayo sa Kanya. And the challenge for us is not to forget Him. When different calamities would happen, there, are, there would be a lot of invitations to, to pray. To pray for this place, to pray for this country affected by this calamity. 
And there is nothing wrong in praying for them. But hopefully, we will not just be reminded to pray for them after they suffer the calamity. Napakadaling mag-post ngayon ng mga pray for this place. Pagdasal natin yung mga tao, pagdasal natin yung mga, pinag- mga dinaanan ng sakuna, walang masamaho sa ganoon. Pero sana, hindi lang natin naaalaalang magdasal kapag tayo nasa gitna ng sakuna, kapag tayo nasa gitna ng kalamidad. Dahil kapag naaalala lang nating magdasal, kapag nakikita natin yung mga sakuna, kapag nakikita natin yung mga kalamidad, ibig sabihin, nandun lang tayo sa takot na baka maharap ka agad natin yung tapat na hukom. Nandun pa rin tayo sa takot na baka humarap tayo agad-agad sa Panginoon at hindi tayo handa. And hopefully, we can pray without ceasing not only during those hard times. Hopefully, every moment, every minute, every second of our life, God is part of our consciousness. And if God is part of our, conscious, of our consciousness, then all our actions will just be a mirror of that consciousness. Kapag lagi nating nasa isip na bahagi ng Diyos, ang bahagi ng ating buhay ang Diyos, lahat ng ating gagawin, lahat ng ating iisipin, parte doon ng Diyos. And if God will always be a part of our life, then all our actions will always be a manifestation of God. Please all stand. As we are gathered to celebrate the mystery of our salvation, let us turn to God the Father with confidence and implore His mercy. For every intention we will say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the people of God may be drawn to prayer and penance as they hope for the coming of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who govern human society may see the hands of God moving in the events of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may look to the future with hope and confidence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that the sick may live in security and hope through the prayers and support of their family and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the Son of Man may grant salvation to those who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, Hear the prayers of your people and help us to embrace the daily challenge of the cross. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. 
Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Holy Father, the offerings we bring as we venerate the passion of the holy martyrs, so that amid the trials of this life, we may always be found faithful and may offer ourselves to you as an acceptable sacrifice. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith, to their endurance you grant firm resolve, and in their struggle the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Andrew Zunglak and his companions, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth as, as it is, is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day, day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, who trespass against us. us. And, and lead us, us not, not into temptation, temptation but, deliver but deliver us, us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should, that you should enter, under, enter my under my roof, but only, but only say, say the word, the word and, my and my soul, soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Renewed by the one bread, as we commemorate the holy martyrs, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that abiding as one in your love, we may merit by endurance an eternal prize. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.